Okay, so I'm going to go over a problem that I came across with regular expression patterns and it was getting the type name of a attribute type. And I, was, I just had to get this text right here in the attributes. And I'll show you how I've gone about doing it, just because it's kind of interesting. Um, there's actually several portions of this reg regular expression pattern and several other patterns that are used in the syntax highlighter, but I'll just go over this one because it's, um, it's the one I had the most trouble with, really. Okay, so I have it split into two sections. Um, you have to ignore pattern white space to split it like this. And the first part is just the opening brace and then the actual type name. And everything else is the uh, the ending stuff, like the content between the parenthesis and then the closing brace. So let's go over the opening brace. The opening brace is interpreted as a formatting character for re for regular expression patterns and you need to escape it using the escape character. And then I've got my actual group here. Uh, I needed a captured group to get the start and end index of the actual type name so I can syntactically highlight it. And I've declared the name of the type as type and you got to do this between two pointy brackets and before the pointy brackets you have to have a question mark. And after that, I have my actual content defined that this pattern should represent. So we know that types should always start with one capital letter. So I'm using capital A to capital Z to represent a single capital letter at the beginning of the type name. And then after that, I'm using the uh, word character representation here. And that just means numbers and letters and some other characters and um, I'm using the plus sign to say that there could be possibly one or more of these word characters. Typically your type name is not going to be two letters long but the plus sign is just an easy way to account for the possible lengths of the letters after the first capital letter. Okay so the second part of the regular expression pattern is very simple. Uh, I need to account for the opening parenthesis, so I'm just going to escape an opening parenthesis, and then after th after that, I'm going to use a period to represent um, any character, and I'm going to put a quantifier in there to say that there could be zero or more any characters, and then after that, I'm going to escape a closing parenthesis, and then I'm going to escape a um, closing square bracket. So I'm using the zero or more quantifier so that I can account for something like this. So that if there's zero characters in between these parentheses here, then the type name will still be identified. Okay, so I just have a body of text right here for my input and then two different types of uh, decorations here for the regular expression to look through and the patterns has successfully matched the decorations. I cannot demonstrate the group within the patterns because the program is not built to list groups or anything like that but they do work. It's just a simple group 